welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm gonna be trying on very cheap, affordable ball gowns, ranging from the price of $80 to $300 from yesstyle.com. No, this video is not sponsored. They just gifted me a gift card to spend on the website for my own personal wardrobe. And I was like, you know what? You know what I could buy with this? princess gown, so that's what I did. So we're gonna see if those are worth it, and this is just gonna be a very princessy video. Whether you have a prom, whether you have a wedding, or if you're just like me and like dressing up in princess attire for absolutely no occasion, this video is for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me just quickly get these fingerprints off of the mirror. Okay. Alright, so this is dress number one, and here's a good look at it. Now, this is a really beautiful dress. Um, I really love what they were doing. I love the sleeves with their bows, and they have long tassels on each side that goes down to the floor. Love that. But, I'm not crazy about this right here. I don't like that you can see the bra cups, uh, that, which came with a dress. Um, I don't like that even though I followed the size chart, it is too big. I would say I could go maybe, yeah, one size down. And this isn't really well supported here, so it kind of like, you see that? <laughs> That's a no. But, other than that, which are two very fixable things, you could totally cinch this and you could totally remove the padding. Still salvageable. I would say, I would say it's pretty worth it. It is a very beautiful dress. Here is the back. I would rate this, I'd say, an 8.5. All right, so let's go ahead and try on dress number two. So here is dress number two. Let's get a spin. And right off the bat, I noticed that it's not the mint green slash aqua color it's supposed to be. It actually looks a lot like the other dress that I just tried on. So that's a letdown because I wanted it to be two different dresses. I do prefer this dress over the other one. Um, this one just looks much more flattering here. There is the boob cabbage thing. Again, removable though, so not a total loss. Um, but what makes this one better is the fact that it has a corset in the back so you can make sure it fits you perfectly. And I think overall the way it fits, it's just better. So I would give this... A nine, a nine out of 10. Okay, so this is probably my favorite one so far. It's so perfect. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it. So let's go ahead and get a spin to see. Oh my goodness. So here's a close-up of the front, absolutely stunning. You don't see any cups, so that's great. There is cups in, but you don't see them. I love this. This is so vintage. Here is the back. It is just pure corset. And yeah, I absolutely love it. It's perfect. I would rate this a 10 out of 10. Someday my prince will come. Ooh. Okay, let's go ahead and try on dress number four. needs a wedding dress for when they marry their prince or princess so I picked out this very beautiful one um, I actually love this so much it does fit really well it's just I didn't want to corset it all the way up because the Sun is leaving me and I just I gotta keep it rolling and these corsets take forever so I've already tried this specific dress on and it fits beautifully so let's get a close-up so here's what the top looks like. I love that there is a sweetheart factor here. I love these sleeves. Um, there is a little bit of a cup here that you can see, which I would remove, but it's not an eyesore enough to notice. I noticed that this kind of falls down here, so you would have to like body tape it on. Um, again, this does fit really well, so ignore that. And I really like the, there's like a beaded pattern here. Also in the bottom, there is this detailing 
And I would rate this dress a 10 out of 10 as well. Because honestly, if you look at the price, you know wedding dresses cost up to $5,000 on average, $1,000 to $2,000. Um, so for the fact that this is the price that it is, it's amazing and the way it looks and the way it fits and the fact that it has potential to even make it look even better, I would rate this a 10 out of 10. I think it's really, really nice and I love it. Okay, so here is the next dress. And this is something that Princess Diana would have totally worn. She loves to show her collarbones. She loves off-the-shoulder dresses. So that's why I picked it. So here's a close-up of the top. Absolutely love it. I love that gentle sweetheart neckline off the shoulder. I love this extra flap. It adds a real sense of elegance to it. Um, it is a half corset, half zipper. But I would say this is very beautiful. I love it. It looks expensive. Um, I've seen dresses like this for about $500, $600, so this isn't so bad. I'm not crazy about the material though. The material feels kind of like cheap Christmas decorations, but if you don't touch it and you just look at it, no one would know. So, um, but yeah, I love it. I think it's beautiful. I'm going to wear this for Christmas. I'm going to buy like a silver belt like my other dress, how it has that beaded belt, or maybe gold. Silver or gold, which one should I do? I don't know now. But yeah, I think it's worth it. 8.9, definitely worth the buy. So that concludes the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up before you go. If you guys want more content like this, make sure you tell me. Let me know what you want to see next. Uh, comment down below which ball gown was your favorite and which one is the one that you would prefer to wear. Um, and yeah, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you know when I post so I can see you in my next video.